Hello and welcome to day one of 25 days of Thanksgiving, where we're spending all the days of November leading up to Thanksgiving, looking at the various things that God does for us that we can be grateful for. And our devotional passage for today is from Psalm 7, verse 17. I will give thanks to the Lord because his, of his righteousness. I will sing the praises of the name of the Lord Most High. That's Psalm 7, verse 17. There was a young boy who went to a store one day and, and he saw this toy and he just he was absolutely enthralled by it. And he would come by every now and then and look at this toy. And finally, he worked up the nerve to go to the shop owner and he said, Sir, how much is this toy? I'd, I'd really like to get the toy. Now, this was not just some toy that you'd find at Walmart. This was a one-of-a-kind toy that, that this shop owner had gotten, just a local store. And he looked at the young man and he said, Son, he said, that toy is $20. And the young boy says, Ah. Oh, I've never had $20. In fact, I don't think I could ever have $20. That's a lot of money. And the shop owner said, yeah, yeah, it is. And this young man kind of turned and was very downcast and started to walk away. And the shop owner said, son, he turns, he says, tell you what. And he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a $20 bill and he gives it to the boy. He says, now you have $20. And the boy was so excited. He says, thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. This is awesome. And he went and got the toy and he pays for the toy. And as he's paying for it, all of a sudden the boy kind of stopped for a moment and he seemed confused. And the shop owner said, what's wrong? He said, well, why did you do that? I mean, you're trying to sell the toy. Why did you give me the $20 for the toy? And the shop owner smiled at him with a big smile. And he said, son, you're going to have so much joy with that toy. And that's going to be great. But I get so much joy seeing the joy in your eyes and knowing you're going to have so much fun with that toy. God gets joy from seeing us have the joy of Christ, from seeing us have the joy of salvation. In our passage, it says, I will thank the Lord because of his righteousness. And in Romans, we're told that God's righteousness is revealed through faith. Right? It's not revealed by, by God punishing the wicked, but rather it's revealed by his grace, by his keeping his promises. And so we can be so grateful to God that he shows us his righteousness in his grace, in his mercy, in forgiving our sins, in saving us, doing all these things for us. That's how we see his righteousness. Righteousness being just the things that are good and holy and right and just about God. Well, what about us? You see, there's another aspect to the righteousness, and that's our righteousness. And the Bible tells us that our righteousness, well, it isn't worth much. In fact, it says that it's like filthy rags, disgusting, dirty, bloody, filthy rags. That's what we have. And for us, with that kind of righteousness, to be in the presence of God, that's not good. But you know what God did? God said, I know that you don't have it, and you never will. So here, have Christ's righteousness. Have the righteousness of Jesus. And he clothes us in Jesus' righteousness. So our sins are forgiven on the cross through the mercy and grace of God. But then he also gives us Jesus' righteousness so that we are now righteous in his sight. Not because of anything that we did, but because of what Jesus has done. So now, not only can we be grateful for the righteousness of God that he shows us in his grace and his mercy by keeping his promises, but we can be thankful that he has made us righteous by giving us his righteousness, Jesus' righteousness. How amazing is that? And that is true no matter what you're going through in life. If you have faith in Jesus Christ, that righteousness is yours. And you can always be thankful for the righteousness of God 
that is shown in his grace by fulfilling his promises. Amen? Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.